at 11.05. Okay, and can we review the minutes of the meeting, please? I'll make a motion we accept the minutes of the meeting. I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor? All those in favor? Any opposed? Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna review our our um, Memorial Day plans. So we're gonna start off with the lineup. So here's the new proposed lineup. I'm gonna take one and pass it on. Joe couldn't be here. He's sick, but he said to, he doesn't have COVID. He um. Oh, good. Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't have COVID, but he said call him after the meeting and he'll oh, okay. stop by and he needs to talk to him. Want one more? I got one. I need one more. Yeah, two more. Yeah. One more. <laughs> Another one? Mm, no, I think we're good now. <laughs> Okay, so if we can look at this, this is the final draft. This is how we are hoping we're going to line everybody up. And I think, Bill, you might want to talk about the lineup. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me look through it first. This is the one you shared with me. Right, you sent me a copy of this. I handed you a card. So. Okay, number 11, uh, <laughs> Senator Brewer will not be making it. Uh, that's because, unless there are select people, they can. Oh, we can walk with them. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Senator Brewer uh, is a native of Barry. There are events in Barry. He's committed to Barry, and we understand that. And it so happens they're sort of at the same time, and he thought he could fly down here and maybe make it, but rather than having a maybe, I'd yeah. rather have, you know, we, uh, we yeah. said, well, thanks very much, and we'll put you on next year. Do you going to, are you? In the middle. Yeah, I'm going to put you in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why don't we just put car clubs, because I anticipate uh, more than one club will be here. But we're going to kind of put them together. I mean, they're not going to be waving banners. It's going to be a variety of cars. It'll be hot rods, antiques, classic cars, maybe a muscle cars, hopefully. Um, so we can put them together. I have um, one major question I'd like to ask of uh, Ryan, representing the police department. Uh, we talked about putting the, uh, the motorcycles, you know, on the road. And we, are we closing from High Bridge to Brigham at 10 a.m., Ryan? Um, it'll be closed at New Templeton. Now, where's, okay, New so, Templeton. New Templeton to, that's, um, to Brigham and Elm. It's across from Kelly's. Kelly Ann's, okay. So is that, that is beyond the field? Yes. 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 Beyond the field, okay. Yeah. So if we close... At 10? Is that what we're doing? Probably 1030, I think, would be the best. Because we're, we're, we're uh, targeting uh, marching at 11, right? Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think 1030 should be. Okay, so 10 There'll probably still be people arriving up to that point. Yeah, and imagine. there will be, because uh, we told some 10 o'clock and some 1015. Okay, here's um, to facilitate the whole setup. I went up, I measured the parking lot. The parking lot is approximately 427 feet long. The parking lot is approximately 30 feet wide. I believe we can get two rows of contingents, we'll call it the groups, two rows of contingents in the parking lot and therefore not have to use the field at all. But in order to reinforce that, because we have floats that are approximately 40 feet long, Claudia and I, and Claudia's husband, we talked about them approximately between truck and float. Uh, they're also a little bit wider, but with the typical car being seven feet wide, the typical float being 10 feet wide, we still have enough that 
once we start to fill up this side, we can have people come in and come down this way, so they're all lined up heading downtown, okay? Um, that removes the necessity of moving vehicles and people up onto the field, which complicates the job of the coordinators up there who are going to have to say, okay, now it's your turn to come down. If they're all on the parking lot area, we're looking good. I think we can assure that if we can allow the trucks, the military trucks and the fire trucks to also park on, six, on 68. Is that okay? Yeah, as long as I think if we keep it to one side, just so. Yeah. Uh, yep. So we have we can cone off. We could actually cone off the same side as the as the rec field. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then use that breakdown lane and in that area right yep. there, and then probably make it so any traffic coming through before that can still get through in get through. two lanes. Yeah. So if we put the motorcycles at the beginning here. And that, I don't know, there may be four, there may be 20. You don't know, uh, some of them having meetings this month. Some said they'd get back to me. Others are going to show up. I knew the common denominator with classic cars and motorcycles was a veteran. And we know that many of them are veterans, so we wanted to invite them. So if we were to put the motorcycles, you know, this is going to be on the rec side of mm -hmm. the field at the beginning, the military trucks and the fire trucks on the road, coned off, like you say, I believe we'll have plenty of room to uh, fit the rest of the entire parade in a, ma a manner that will be A, organized, and B, allow uh, four helpers that are there to be able to communicate with each other and start them going and so on and so forth, all of which is what we're looking for, organization. So that's a big point, and I appreciate you allowing us. So motorcycles, Military vehicles and uh, fire trucks will be on 68. Rich, we're going to talk about that in the subcommittee. Don't worry about it. Which is good. Cause I had it. I had okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So okay. I think, you know, I think with uh, the 25, if we're going to put the selectmen together with. It'll be uh, 24. With, yeah. Well, it'll be 25. I mean, 25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. And the motorcycles are going to ride side by side. Yeah, and just like Friday. John mentioned, yeah, Friday. we'll probably start them out. So you get seven or eight of the groups going out, including a couple of the floats. And then we allow the motorcycles to go out nice and slow so that they, they're not going to be overheating. That's one of their issues. And they can ride alongside. People can enjoy the motorcycles and see it. And they can, if they get a little ahead, they can stop. Okay, but they're not going to be stopping in a protracted fashion that might cause the overheating. And then when the kind of the parade catches up, they can kind of go along the side of the parade. Do you think it would be okay for them to be on both sides of the parade? The motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those are the things, uh, Rich, when we sit down and talk in our subcommittee, will be the little cues that you're going to be giving to the motorcycles. And you're going to be telling virtually everybody um, that at the end, for example, the military trucks, you're going to be telling them to park in the parking lot of the police station. You're going to be telling um, the classic cars to park alongside Main Street down by the, um, the common. And then you'll be telling, for example, the floats to reinforce them that they're going to be going up the road next to the church to get up and back there. So I'll cue in on that and we'll have people at the other end that will also be doing that too. We see somebody going in the wrong direction, we'll go over and direct them because we should have four people at the rec field, four people, uh, two people at Go Green, and four down at the common. Is that in line with what you had? Yeah. Mind, Claudia. Okay. So I think, Lori, when you talk, you can use this for yep. a guideline. Yep. We can add on oh, yep. who's who and. Yeah, the only question I had was do we know, like, or if we don't know now, will we know what car clubs are there so we can, you know, possibly, like, yeah, okay. yeah, just if you know that, obviously. And I've asked I can throw that in, or you know, all, the volu all the volunteers to uh, also have a phone number, so we're going to have cell phones working for us. So, those last minute things that happen, I mean, don't the walkie talkies would be too cumbersome and we don't have enough to go around, they'd be on different so cell phones. So we may be feeding some of that information to you very late because we may not know 
or you could be generic and say we have a wonderful display of a variety of antique classic cars and look at the motorcycles too so because um, we may not have you know some people may be coming in and don't have an affiliation to uh, like the Comos are coming in, they don't belong to a club, but they're going to be there. So. Is everybody told to come to show up in a certain order, or just when they get there? When they told? get there. 10 to 10.15, as we told uh, everybody. Nobody after 10.15, like Ryan said, people will be wandering in a little bit later. And then you'll be instructing them, if somebody's dropping somebody off to be in the parade, where to park. We'll have to go green, park and go green. If that's overflow, go beyond that. There's okay. a big parking lot. We'll, we'll so. And flow has agreed to can let you set up on the. Yeah, I have a you you talked to them? Yeah. So, Wonderful. Yeah. They'll mm -hmm. give you when they're like you're going to need electricity. So you're going to be in front of uh, yeah. flows. So you don't need to do the, I don't know, the radio station need electricity? Yeah. yeah. So he's uh, said yes. You need yeah, electricity. absolutely. So okay. that's, that's all set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he'll be going up onto the common and setting up on the common so he can also take after, the, after the service. The Correct. Yeah. He knows enough to move his kit and caboodle up. My, my experience for him is um, we need to make sure that everybody that's up there has, you get you in a spot where you have, you know where they're going to be. And um, every time we had somebody that was just running around saying, you go over here, you go over here, and then other people were chasing the guy because they couldn't, they didn't know where they wanted to go. So, so that's why this schematic is going to have all 25 oh. numbers oh. and approximate num amount of space oh. they need. Totally we certainly want to, and there's going to be some blank spots because there's going to be some unknowns that happen. So based on the fact that we'll be able to put the biggest vehicles, the military trucks and the fire trucks out here, the only thing you're going to have to do, uh, and that's going to, uh, Joe's going to be the point man, and then the others are going to be the helpers. The only thing you're going to have to do is to tell the, like the military vehicles, when to go. Yeah. And uh, it's time for them, so they're going to be going after the bosses, and at that point you give them the go ahead to go. So, but this will all be um, filled in. And everybody will have a copy of it. And everybody, I hope to have the names of the volunteers here with phone numbers so that if you need to talk to somebody, you can talk to them and say, hey, they're not where they're supposed to be, et cetera, et cetera. Lori, did you get the soccer and the baseball? You were going to reach out to them? Did you yeah, I'm going to send out a thing on our Facebook page for baseball. Soccer, I don't know. Soccer, you know soccer. Right? When will we okay, do so we'll like a soccer. rehearsal of this? Absolutely, we will. I have no fear. I wanted to um, get through this today, and then I'll go up and I'll figure out what we need to do, and I will be in touch with you and okay. Joe, and we'll do that. Okay. So we're all set on the lineup. That looks good to everyone, and we look like that'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, Phil? The, the ones that are walking, we don't, do we have to direct them anywhere? Yeah, or? yeah, they're going to be in the line. They're going to be, for example, uh, number number six is Vietnam veterans walking. So they're going to be after the Vietnam veterans float, and they won't need much room. I mean, they're going to be, you know, they'll line up. Let's say there are 20 of them. You know, they might need uh, 10 feet, you know. And then after, you'll say you'll be uh, after the Vietnam veterans float and before the other veterans float. Because we're going to have one specifically for Vietnam veterans, and then there's going to be one more, for, uh, two more for regular veterans, all other veterans. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep. Would it help to be able to hand these out to the leads of these groups, especially as you start to get down here? Uh, I so mean, that they can see it and go, oh yeah, we're after the girls. Yeah, if we have so extra copies, after. we can hand them yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. we can yeah. make them. I mean, we can make them. Yeah. Yeah. So that if you want, we can have them. Yep. Are we passing out anything from the floats, like flags? I know that was a thing Ryan, years ago. Um, I talked to Ryan about that because what happened was um, last time we did it, Ryan had little the veterans passed out, the walking veterans passed yeah. out little flags to all the kids in the class. And that worked out really nice, and the veterans liked passing them out. So, I've been in touch with Ryan. I think he's going to get us some little flags, I think. Okay. I will double check with him again. 
so that they'll be on the veterans vote and they can pass them out. The people that are walking, the veterans can yeah. pass them and out. And Sheila, we also have other handouts here. Yes. Oh. Yes, we got this from Sheila. Did you go ahead, honey. Oh, um, so I got a bag full of Vietnam veteran pens. Are you guys aware of those? They're, um, they were made so that you could do ceremonies and stuff and hand them to Vietnam veterans and thank them for their service. And it's kind of a welcome home thing. So I, I got a bag full of those so that um, we can use them in case she runs out of like Vietnam veteran hats. They, she can give one to somebody to put on their hat or anybody who wants one um, that's a Vietnam veteran. Um, so we have those. I re received a thousand um, forget-me-nots from the DAV chapter I belong to, donated a thousand of them to us. How do you anticipate distributing those? Um, so right yeah. now, we were talking yeah. about um, twisting a poppy with the forget-me-not so that they can be put on the wreaths and then handing them out at a sum. She sees fit, basically. Yeah, think? hand them out at the field. Or, yeah, yeah, we can do it here. But I thought we would... I thought, but unless you being veterans are feel like we should only put the poppy on the leaves, that's fine. But I thought we should put both on the leaves. This is disabled veterans. And this is the poppy. Why not? And this is in memory of the... In memory of the veterans. Veterans are veterans. Right. So I can twist them like this and we can have them put them both in the leaves. What about? And then we'll pass. We're going to pass out what we have. We'll pass out. Yeah, that's it. You know, on the people that are there. We'll be passing them out. Passing them out to everybody or passing them out to veterans? We can pass them out to veterans first. And then, but where will they put them out? Yeah. Where are we going to put them? But we can pass them out to them. I thought I have a hundred of these. And so I thought the hundred we would put together. And then what we don't, we'll pass out the money. Do you need more poppies? I only got 100. So, I mean, if I have enough to do all of them like that, I'll get my ladies to do that for me. And then we could do this, because they're kind of together. Yeah. yeah. So that's my thought <laughs> on that. Thank you, Sheila, for doing that for us. I, I saw these. I mean, they're beautiful. My father's favorite flower to get me on. Mm. <laughs> and perhaps on number 25, just put trucks instead of trucks. Oh, okay. And Higgins Motor, and that's the only company for the military? No. Nope. Um, Tom is going to be checking on um, the number of vehicles that they're going to be, because they were working on something, right? You were going to right. check. So the maximum number was six. They were hoping they have them all ready, but they weren't sure. And then Owen Rood, R-U-U-D, oh, yeah. uh, he has one. And then the fellow up on 68, I still can't remember his name, on the right-hand side, right. he has one. And so we could have a potential of eight. Do you think there's enough room in the parking lot for eight military vehicles? Well, you can have that spot up there, which is going to have, it has four spots. I don't know how big it And then you've got the closest to the road. I think you do. Okay. You yeah. think, right? What's so, that? You think there's enough room up there for eight vehicles? They're going to be in the front, up closest to the road. That, oh, yeah. that. There's a couple and of these. Over here. There's a couple of deuce and a half. Yeah. yeah, we should be able to fit. Yeah, I think we can fit. Okay. Well, I can, over. Uh, on the side. What we'll have to do is because this parking lot usually fills yeah. up like, very fast. We're gonna have to block it off. Yeah, I'll have to block off end. some and put somebody at the entrance here so that. Well, yeah. I think you guys are doing I hot dogs wanna, and stuff. I want to so block guys, off in yeah, front of here too because that, I'm going to set up tables up there. Right. Because we're not going to have enough. They're not going to all fit in here. So I'm going to set up no, tables and stuff out and in the front yeah, after we block that the off. Yeah. The trucks. Yeah. Yeah. People coming in. I only have so many, but I think I can <laughs> no, find one. No, no, no. <laughs> the, with any luck, I'll be able to find one that we can put there because we also need one up at uh, the field here for any um, any handicap. Like, you know, I know a lot of people have handicap and can't walk a long distance, but I mean, like, somebody that really needs it because we're also putting floats up there, so right. we're going to have limited space, but we'll try to accommodate 
what everybody about CERT that we members, can. members, though? Again, we have the CERT members that could help do some of that stuff as well. Yes, yeah, we can try to get... Like Dennis O'Donnell, reach yeah. out to him, yeah. and he's got a group. Right. So. And, um, for example, if uh, someone, you're going to have somebody at um, the intersection of Brigham and 68. Yes. So if someone comes around 1030, I'm going to, the ones that have contacted me that have handicapped um, passengers, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell them to tell the officer that they've been told they can park up by the church. Yep. So therefore, they'll be able to get by and park up by the church. Perfect. Yep, we can do that. Okay. All right, so we're, we're all done with the lineup. We're all set with that now. Um, got everything clear. Should we put a little note um, on the right now of, with the military vehicles and the trucks will be parking on 68? We're going to know that, but you know now we designated that because we say it uh, literally for the motorcycles. They'll be parked on the side of the parade, which is going to be on 68. So. For the people who are lining them up. Yeah, yep. on 68. So you're going to combine uh, 10 and 11. So now they're, are you going to skip a number or what What do you think? I'll just redo it. I'll okay. Just, I'll just so redo it and there'll be 25. There'll be 25. Yeah. I'll, just take, I'll just take that one out. Yeah, good. Okay. And then we'll put the Donnie with the sledge. Yeah. Are these the only two going to be there? Um, just, I think just Jeff and Heather and, of course, Katie's working with, walking with the girls. So we get three, right? Yeah, there's three. Okay. We're all set. Any other, anything else to do with the lineup? Anybody else wants to say anything about the lineup? Because this is it. <coughs> not this is it. This is the way it's going to go on the lineup. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just need my paper. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, so okay. So now I'm going to review the program, John. You know, we did a few other things. So we put it on our commu computer. So um, Sue and I can uh, do the rest here. I'm did gonna I make give a you a suggestion that we have uh, three members of the committee okay, for the uh, brochure. Bill, you, and myself, and we can get together at some point and make sure. After we re after we redo it all over, we'll we'll come over again and we'll we'll review it again after we get the first. Anybody have an update on the flag pole? Sandra was here today. She said that um, she has somebody that's willing to climb the pole and paint it. Okay. Um, I thought it was already done. No. But she talked to David about it, and David was going to be so David should know more. Okay. If not, we can get you in contact with Sanda. But they couldn't get a truck or didn't have it, so they'll actually climb it. Well, they said they came with a truck and they not somehow cut it down, couldn't. Right? No. 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 Good. They couldn't get on the um, on the common. I don't know why they couldn't get on the common because we've had major trucks up there, but so they didn't do it. So then they had to find somebody who would climb the pole Madam and Chairman, fix it. And while then I was doing the program, I, I know that uh, one of our select persons. Yeah. Probably uh, is going to be with the Girl Scout. They should. Everyone that's the select person that shows up, like Jeff and this young lady, and this one other added here, Heather, should yeah. be announced at Tom while you're making the introduction. Yeah, well, that's the point. I, I, I'll, I'll do that, but I got to have a list of names. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll make them. It's going to be in the program. I okay. uh, yeah, there may be a last minute addition. You know. That's not, or, yeah. or somebody yeah. drops out. Yeah. So we're going to change the raising of the American flag and the singing and the singing of America the Beautiful. We're going to take that right out because we're going to raise the flag right after uh, Michelle. Okay. Talks right. That'd be circa twelve o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Raising so, the flag out of their flag. Not not right after. There's the one down the bottom where you have the right echo here. trumpets. Oh. Down the bottom, that that can come out because we have it up yep. the top, and we're not going to sing. We're not going to sing "God Bless America" at that time. When we when we come up there, it'll be at half mass, so it doesn't go back up until noon. Okay, so so yeah, and it says right here, um, Tom, that you're going to be master of ceremonies, and and you'll 
be introducing the select board members right. of it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Katie, do you have a copy of it? Yeah. It has to go you have a copy okay. Um, Don't worry, I'm good over here. Okay. I'll quiet in the back. I mean, and then after you I, after you introduce the, the the select board members, they sing Star Spangled Banner, or do they sing Star Spangled Banner right after they raise the flag? I don't know. Is that the right place to have that? Just wondering. Well, I think we I think we ought to do it. Um, right after they raise the flag. As as or after when they're raising the flag. Okay, so let's slide that up into there. Raise the flag, and then the Star Spangled Banner. It should probably be played while the flag is yeah. being put back up. Same time. Yeah. At the same yeah, time. Right. right. Okay, so we're going to do that together. See that, John? We're going to move that up after, and then then Tom's going to talk and introduce the select boards, and then we'll have the Memorial Day readings. I have. Nine kids coming to audition. They're uh, they're going to do it. Maybe there's six of them that want to do it together. Mary? There's. Um, I'm sorry, not nine, eight. Uh, six that want to do it together, and then I have two little girls that can want to do it by themselves. So I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. The reading is on the 17th. So. Uh, well, they're the only whittle that down to one instead of six. I mean. That's the challenge for the kids because whatever they're doing, you get is very good dress, etc. They've got six girls. Six and of they them got are going to be relying on one another, and no. they may be re relying on the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're just auditioning. What they're going to do? They're just pick who's yeah. just going to audition. Right. Yeah. They're going to audition. And, then, and there might be yes. two girls saying one, like they get into a dress. One girl might memorize one paragraph. Another girl, too. So they might go back and forth, so there's two of them up there at the same time. It's over they complicating. They wanted to just, um, thing, you know. they wanted to get more community, more kids involved, and they felt like it was easier for them to wow. memorize if they did, if they split it up a little bit. Keep so I said, we'll see how it goes. It might not work, Claudia, or it might work. Huh? Keep in mind, though, the reason why there might be six is because they might be relying on each other, so they're not so nervous. Yeah. Sure. I think last year we had one individual that had a problem. Yes. No, a neighbor of mine, and she yeah. lived with that now for the whole year. Yeah, I know, and that's <laughs> why I say that if there's, they might be relying on each other for encouragement. Yeah. So that we'll might how, be why. We'll see how the audition goes. Yep. We'll start there, and then we'll we'll go through. We'll we'll play it by ear. We'll follow it by that. Um. Okay, and then we have the placing of the poppies. We're going to change Tom's name. <coughs> placing of the poppies, and the singers are going to sing. Now, are you sure that's the right order? Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard. That's the order. Uh, I have an explanation of it here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with Navy first, but that's, it's always <laughs> yeah. Army. But it's always, it's always that way. It's always Army. That's the... That is the death of the Army, Navy? It's based off of when they first came in, but right. I don't have precise. Actually, uh, I, know. I just looked it up, and I got the order, and it's because the Marines had such a small group, and only one commission officer or a captain, they were the first to go before Congress and get the okay. So they're claiming they were first, <laughs> without any ships. What a surprise. Okay, but, so <laughs> but, but but legally they're they are just a element of the United States Navy. So yeah. well, so we don't, but we don't want to get in a fight with them. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll so we're going to leave no them back. Force members, uh, here either. So we're going to leave it that way. We're all comfortable with that. We're going to yeah. leave it that way. Yeah. If you think that's the right way, okay. I mean, the singers are going to sing that. And then you're going to have the firing squad, which is the Hubbardston Militia. You yeah. Did you make sure you checked with Bella and all that, Skip, on that? Yeah, they're practicing. They're all set on that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's how many not will, a firing. How many will you have? I think it's an honor I'm not sure about six. six. A firing There's squad is going to shoot A couple of them. Oh, honor guard. Honor guard. All right. Yeah, honor guard. Honor guard. Honor guard. Honor guard. Yeah, it is. Honor guard. Yeah. Thank we you. were looking. Oh, asked that question last time, too. And I looked at it, too. It is. It's an honor guard. So you may have. Four to six? Yeah, four okay, to six. and then uh, what would be the tradition of the firing squad? What would you, uh, one round? 
one round. One round. Yeah. I know the procedure and reloading. So, okay. I've been there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So honor guard. Honor guard, not firing squad. Yeah. Honor guard. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's four I don't know. I'll stand in the back. We're giving up. I'll stand in the back somewhere. Firing squad. When it's all over. I'll be in the back. I had put guns. Light them up against the wall. Okay, okay so the, let's change that. Yeah, yeah the Skip and I go yeah. back to 1975 when we did the militia and went down to Lexington and Concord. Yeah, that's, that's the precedent. So, okay. Okay, so the trumpet, the trumpet players, they're going to play taps. Okay, now that's an that's an issue. Okay. That, aren't we doing that at the end? No. Well, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. So we're we going to move. Um, now we're going to take that out. Yeah. Oh, it says out. taps down at the bottom yeah, again. Right. Yeah, That's so we want it at the yeah. bottom. So we're going to take that out, the taps, because they're at the bottom. And then I have one more. Do we need to put the trumpet players' names in here? We're not. No, we're not. No, Because mm -hmm. we don't know for sure. Um, we do have a backup, and that would be Laura Foley. And then we have uh, Ed, uh, Blanchard's grandson. Why don't grandson we just have sure. Laura Foley? Why don't we just make, commit her to do that? I can do that. I, I, I mean, rather than... Oh, oh, yeah. It would be the band. I would ask the band to do it. Yeah. But I can, I can ask, I can designate Laura Foley. She does trumpets across America, so she does them all the time. I mean, what, yeah. when, I mean it's a, and it's a uh, town resident mm -hmm. that's doing yeah. it. I'll and, ask her. Uh, uh, she volunteered. So. That way we, we know exactly what we're doing. I've got one more little point. Do you think that tap should be the very end? After the benediction, yeah, I, I think it should think? be the very yeah. end. It's right. sort of like day is done, from yeah. the sun. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. why don't we? Let's ask yeah. our veterans' agent. What would, do you think? Yeah, we were, yeah. We were talking I about. I kind of like because this is. Um, that's the end. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah, it kind of mm -hmm. a really nice closure to this. All right. So have the benediction and then the taps. Correct. Okay. Taps at the end. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. Then we're back up here now. Uh, Memorial Day speakers, Donnie Berthume, Ryan. Now, Steve Brewer, are we just going to take him out or are we going to find out. another speaker? Take him out. Take him out. No. I think that um, that economizes our time. It's better. Okay. Especially with Steve Brewer. Oh, I, I mm -hmm. ordered him five minutes or less and I pull the plug. But he does intend to extemporate. Okay, so we're taking Steve Brewer out. Um, Bill, you're all set with yours. Is sure. that exactly how you want that word? That looks good. Yeah. Okay. Except, well, I take it back. Uh, <laughs> one minor detail. Yes. Um, you left out Span Am War, Spanish American War. Do we have a monument for that? We do a yeah. combination of Spanish American and World War One. I. I had that in there, but Spanish American, right? After the Civil War. That's correct. After the Civil War? Right. Between the Civil War and Civil War, Spanish American, World War One, World War Two, Korean. Okay. Not that my history students would often remember the order they were in, but <laughs> unless it was on a video game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, then after that we're gonna take out the dedication of the refurbished monuments, because that's what you're gonna be talking about anyway, right? Wait, yeah. Well um, at the very bottom. Wait a minute, okay. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that at all no, so because there's no out. dedication involved, and I'm going to mention it up above. So yep. leave that out. Take that out. Take yep. that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to do the dedication of the Vietnam Monument. Who's doing that? You doing that? Well, um, Tom is going to. Uh, he said he's going to say at this point, we would like all Hubbardston Vietnam era veterans to gather around the Vietnam Memorial, which is going to be shrouded. Okay. And uh, so they're going to be intermingled. They're going to be sitting with the veterans. They're going to be um, you know, standing and so on and so forth, because not all of them will be in that area that we're designating with the seats. Um, so I would say that's going to take a couple of minutes, because you know we'll give them a couple of minutes to kind of gather around the memorial. And then at the appropriate time, and Tom will say, go ahead, and we'll yeah. lift the shroud. And is that when you want Joyce to sing God Bless America? Because Joyce, yeah. Joyce, I, I yeah. checked with her, and she said she'd be happy to do that. Wonderful. Yeah, what do you so think? do you I want was, her to do that? Yeah. I was trying to convince her to, pay, to do blades of grass and pure white stones. Oh, we did that the last time. That's a beautiful song. Mm, I know. But that, that they play that at uh, in in DC or in DC. May I ask a question? 
Um, yeah. The veterans around the memorial, is it going to be a circle or are they just lining up in front of it? I'm just wondering as far as getting a shot. Around. And it's going to be all around it because the names are on the front and the back. Okay. You know, right. So we want to emphasize, you know, both those. Uh, and, you know, the, the font on the letters is a full inch. That's what we really, I wanted people to be able to see it from 20 to 25 feet. So, um, so, do we want so there'll be front, side, and back. And there are, there's going to be beautiful flowers all around it. It's going to be nicely mulched. And so they'll be kind of leaning over, kind of lifted up. And if there's not enough to do it, we'll be down there helping them. So. So do um, we why, don't we, uh, why don't we say a, a Vietnam veteran requested that those two songs be sung? The and what? The songs be sung by the Greens that you were requesting. Yeah. Um, well, I'll talk to them. Well, we, we got them down for, I, we thought God Bless America yeah. would be the nice final for the, yeah. for the end. Is so, that going to be the seniors and Joyce Street? No, Street? just Joyce Street. Okay, so that's a sing singing senior. I mean, I could ask the singing seniors I to sing it with them. I, I think so. they're going to be doing enough beforehand. On the uncovering, is that going to be specific people or just everybody crowded together to lift it? Vietnam, Hubbison, Vietnam era. Do you think everybody would be able to fit there to do it? I, if we have, I'll be thrilled if we have 30 okay. that's come forward. I'll be thrilled. And... If need be, and there they have to be too deep, and even better, you know. But um, you know, I think we have a ten-foot monument, and then we have, so we have ten feet in the back, ten feet in the front, you know, a couple feet on the side. Um, and if there's more, you reach a hand in, and some will be doing the bottom and the top. But uh, and then what happens once it slips it off? I am there to grab it, get it out of the way, so that uh, it's not in the way. So we agreed that Joyce Green will yeah. be the one, because yeah. the seniors Joyce will be now, doing all the other songs. The seniors will be the, doing the other songs, and uh, they asked me if they were in anything else, and I said no, just those songs. Yeah. Just the, for yeah. the parties, yep. Yeah. So what is she singing? God Bless America. And so the Star Spangled Banner earlier on. Star Spangled Banner up top. We've got, we've got them up here, up top, right? Um, so when you, I just, one question, the dedication of the Vietnam on you, do you want us to put underneath here, um, we invite all the Viet Vietnam vets to stand up, or not, you can wait just Tom will I think say. the announcement okay. will be enough, and okay. maybe you have to announce it twice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, please come forward, you know, take part in this event, you know, announce it again. And uh, as long as a loudspeaker is getting throughout the common, then that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then Michelle is doing the benediction tap, Reading. and then the taps. Or we could say dedication of Vietnam Veterans Memorial by Vietnam Veterans, Vietnam, Hubbardson Vietnam Veterans. But you now you, if you put Hubbardson Vietnam Veterans, do you want all the Vietnam Veterans to go? Or all the Hubbardson Vietnam. Vietnam. Just the Hubbardson. That's why by Hubbardson Vietnam era veterans, if you put that in. It doesn't need to because we're going to be announcing it. I think that's sufficient, but if you wanted, if somebody was looking over the program, they would know beforehand that they should be in the proximity in order to do that. But, you know, so the dedication, that's the term being used, actually, the unveiling of, I like unveiling better, unveiling of Vietnam Monument. What do you think? I think I, I, like, I, think I like unveiling because it's yeah. going to be shrouded. Yes. So okay. Yeah. So change dedication to unveiling. Take the word that unveiling. And if you can fit in the by Hubbardston Vietnam era veterans, that would further identify. Right, so can I talk a little bit about that? Only because I'm not. I, so we have we've invited the veterans from all over any place. And we are honoring our Vietnam veterans, not only from our town, but all of them who have. I think we're honoring all of them, although this is a special one for our town. Their name is on there. So how do you think if you, I mean, maybe it's okay if you just say, well, we only want Hubbison veterans to be up here to unveil it because that's your name. Your name is on there. We're honoring our Hubbison veterans, but we've invited all our veterans all our Vietnam veterans to come. I don't know if we should specify 
Hubbardston, Vietnam veterans only. I think if we just don't put don't put Hubbardston. And if we do that, then only. other other veterans will be coming up to do the unveiling, and then you're going to have too much of a crowd. Oh, if we say just Vietnam veterans, Kara. Not all the other Hubbardson, 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 Vietnam. Hubbardson, you want to yeah. Yeah. Hubbardson. I think okay. we have to. Just it's there. The I just didn't want anybody to see. I didn't know. I it's didn't want anybody's feelings. It's their day. So right. Don't you have the Vietnam veterans that are coming to visit stand if it's all possible? And I think that's exactly that's right. What I'm While this is going on, will all veterans stand? Why not? All veterans stand. Why? You know, it's a. It's, a, it's for all veterans this day. I just don't yeah. want anybody to be slighted. Or well, no, you're right. You announce everybody stand and please. I think it's a solemn moment. So I think if we say, would everybody stand? Okay, Tom? Yeah. We'd like everybody to stand during this, but please, all Hubbardston area, Hubbardston Vietnam era veterans come forth down to the monument for the unveiling. How do you feel? Do you think that's a good? I mean, it's a tough one, I think, because you know. But they invited me to go to the one in Washington, but they didn't. Yeah. They didn't. But I think it's a, a good one to acknowledge all the Vietnam veterans, mm -hmm. and then have the Hubbardson ones come up yeah. to unveil right. there. That's right. So yeah. acknowledgement, but have the Hubbardson yeah. come up. Yeah. I think I, it's fine. If I if I get them all to stand first. Yeah. And thank all of them for being there. Right. And now I would like the Hubbardston era Vietnam yeah. veterans to come forward to unveil, to unveil your, your the Hubbardston uh, monument. monument. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the question. Oh, that's Written. good. Okay. Flush that out. Okay. okay. First paragraph, uh, middle column, uh, courtesy, spell wrong. Put a no in there. I'm sorry. Or we could all curtsy. Okay. <laughs> curtsy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I taught English. I taught English also. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, the second uh, paragraph uh, at the senior center, make the A, a small A. I'm thinking on people deserving the special thanks that we have. This information is pretty much on the back, I think. Except for we don't have Bill. Why am I identified? I, I would rather have it. Because uh, we get the thank you on the back day, Vietnam Memorial Monument Committee. You have the Hubbardston Memorial Day Committee. Yeah. We don't need to have our names on there, I don't no. think. Mm -hmm. We have the American uh, Legion. Take name off. Yeah, take the name off. Yeah. And put, um, if you're going to, it's mentioned on the back, why so are we why, doing it a second time? Right, so I was thinking we could take this people deserving special things off. Yeah, because we have, we're we have saying thank you on the back. Right. Already on the back. Are all the ones mentioned on the front here mentioned on the back? I'm pretty sure. Um, but now we had talked about we had talked about um, the Hubbardston Lions Club. They didn't do the new podium, right? It's Go Green that did the podium. That's correct. So we need to take that off the podium and. Um, well, I think we should acknowledge Go Green for purchasing. It says Go Green for parking at the rec field and purchasing a new podium. There it is. Perfect, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's good. For Kathy for busing veterans from Worcester and providing a bus for the use of the Hubbardston attendees. What does that mean? Uh, attendees. That's proving, by the way. Not providing. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> so we're going to okay, do that. I don't. For use by. Um, <coughs> the, actually, the second McCarthy bus is to pick up the. Navy Junior ROTC group at Quabbin. Okay. That's what it is. Put for transportation. Yeah. Does it have I, to I, specify I, who they picked up? Yeah. Yeah. 
It would just shorten it. Yeah, how about that? Just put for a yeah. McCarthy bus for transportation. For transportation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that is, that's fine. Just for transportation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we need to add the DAD Pittsburgh Chapter 30 for the Forget Me Not. I get to. Yeah. That was Fitchburg, DAV. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got two things here. So we're going to put that over here for DAV, right? Fitchburg Chapter 30 DAV for the Forget Me Nots. Your financial impact killed. So are you going to put the acknowledgments to uh, people mm -hmm. deserving mm -hmm. special mm -hmm. thanks? Yeah. On the centerfold on the front or on the back? I think you have more room on the back as you're adding. You can make that memorial day thing smaller. You can make that smaller, yeah. So it should be one place and not both, one or the other. Um, we have it here, and we have it here, and I think over here is best because there's more room. But I want to make sure we have all of these. Because if you took out special thanks on this one and do special thanks to the following, right, yeah. take mm -hmm. this out, and then you could put everybody on these two pages. Hold on a minute. You lost me. We, we're still on the back? We're going to keep the back like it is? Yeah. Okay. But what they were just saying, yeah. I think, was we're taking this one out. Yeah. And this can move one of these. The history of the Memorial Day could be moved over if, if you have no room <laughs> left on the back here. Okay. So, you add a few. But you have special thanks to the following like three times back here. So you could just do special thanks to the following and then do continued and then here. It says and thank you to the following. Do we want to add special thanks over yeah, well, here? Yeah, on the back. I'm just saying yeah. you do it once up here and then on here you can say continued and then start going down here because okay. you have it down here again. Special thanks to the following is in the middle right here. Just don't tell me you want to buy from again. The back again. <laughs> and After this, huh? And then you have, so you have special thanks to four times. Right. You only need it once. You only need it once, yeah. Special thanks to the following and then just list them all. Okay. All right. So you, you would now take out all the tasks. Pardon? Take out the, ta the tasks, like things the boys got. Period. You know, for, for setting up chairs. Yeah, because they're not going. To, they may not be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to take the setting up. And the First Unitarian Church. Period. No, thanks for the use of the chairs. Mm. Yeah. You should start at the top. And yeah. Just, just. Let's start up at the top here, so... Mm -hmm. Top, way top, top. I would be more inclined to let them, to, to thank them if they let us have the good chairs instead of the ones they got. So let's, uh, we'll just thank the church. Okay, Here so I'm going to do... All right, so they got me, they got Tom, they got Sue. All right, so this is the Memorial Day Committee. Yeah. And do then, we want to put us on the, on the and what about yes. the memorial? Yes. What about your committee? We don't have the names. Oh, no, that's okay. Committee. That's okay. I, I think it should be. Well, um, it's I part mean, of we it. could put them here. No, we can make the yeah, I think type smaller. Yeah. yeah. Then, well, I, then in that case, I would say yes. Remove some of this stuff out. You're gonna be. I mean, yeah, you're yeah, taking yeah. all this stuff right. out. Right. Yeah. Have room. And then you're gonna yeah. have room. Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah. So if you would give us the names of your committee members, and we can, because if you're gonna put us on here. You need to put. I agree. Richard's yeah. name is spelled. Yeah, and we you had to put, put a D on the end of yeah, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not at the beginning. I thought it said Richie because I didn't see my glass. I didn't have my glasses on. I said, "You do not really like to be called Richard." Yeah. <laughs> you could okay, do. So you could do USMC if Bill. you want. So John, just rip this up and start over. With. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can. We can. No, it's Joe. John. Okay, so we're all. Is that everybody that we want to put on our committee? That I mean, that's. Well, we Quite making the committee a little bit smaller. You want to do skip? Yeah. All these suggestions yeah. and skip uh, um, consideration. Yeah, let's. Um, I, I think that uh, after Richard name, it should be USMC. Yeah, yeah. you yeah, could like do that. Yeah. yeah, and you could what, do what was USMC? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is is Joe a, a Marine too? Yeah, yeah. USMC. Yeah. Was Joe Joe yeah. Gannell was a Marine? Yeah. USMC. Yeah. yeah. So it was the sun. I don't know. You're putting the tours there. I did too, but if you, I don't care whether you put them there or not. What was that again? I mean, I, I see 
Tom's got three tours. I did two, but you know, I don't care if you put that on there or not. Let's see. Just, I don't yeah. know about Joe. I don't know how many Joe yeah. did. Put it on. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think two tours. I get it now. Yeah, I married him. Right? Now I get this. Okay. And I can check on Joe. Yes, you can. Uh -huh. That's here's, here's why you should put it on. First Parish Church for the chair, the Boy Scouts, well, for the Okay, we need to talk Haiti. about the chairs, okay. if that's uh, appropriate as a sign, should we? Well, okay. I was going to talk about the Girl Scouts in, um, mm -hmm. you heard that la at the last meeting, um, Ed Blanchard wanted to, so I got thinking about that, and so I called Bill, we talked about it, and I called Flo and told her we didn't need the flowers, so we won't need the girl. Because I was thinking too, you said you only have a few. Well, we got the big ones, a few older kids. A lot of them are young. So, right. yeah. so we were. I was thinking about that, and then I was thinking about getting that landscaped and stuff. So anyway, Flo had no problem. No problem. She hadn't ordered them yet, so it was no problem. So we're all set. Alright, so we don't need any of the kids so to flip anything up. No. Okay, good. No good? Problem solved. Just farm up on the common. We'll have them farm up on the common. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we, we'll go wherever you point us. Okay. <laughs> so here's, here's my reason. We can follow direction. <laughs> when contrasted with World War II, the Vietnam veterans saw an average of 240 days of combat in one year, while the average infantrymen in the South Pacific and World War II averaged 40 days. Uh, and it's all because we had those damn helicopters that could pick us up and take us to the next place to get shot at. And there wasn't as much territory to cover. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, that's why it, I don't want to say anything else because it's. <laughs> You're on TV. Yeah. Okay, so then are we all set? The Council on Aging and Friends, uh, the Hubbison Senior Center, funding the service for the ice cream social. Did we put the Lions Club in here? We're on. Oh, yeah, we did yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, and a special thanks to our veterans. So, will that special thanks grouping now go on the back? Mm -hmm. That first panel on the back? Yeah, then we, I'd say continues. Uh, you yeah. want to put it on yeah. the very top? Or yeah. you want to put it? Well, it's going to be in the trifold, it's going to be on the back here. Right. Okay. And then here. And then we, I don't think you mentioned Friends of the Hubbison Senior. We did. They on, are. Uh, on this one. Aging and Eight Golden Ages, Friends of the Hubbison Senior Center funding. Bottom metal. The bottom metal. The bottom of the metal. Yeah. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. special thanks sure. to everyone, right? And a special thanks to our veterans is going to go on at the very end. Okay. Just out of curiosity, who's actually raising the flag? I haven't heard that said. I was just curious. During the ceremony. Yeah. No, not me. I'm just I'll like, fly away with the thing. Good point. Who normally does it, Tom? Uh, I used to have the scouts. Yeah. Okay. Is that a possibility? Katie, is that a possibility? Uh, for the Boy Scouts? We yeah. Can, we can see if I can bring that to their attention. Yeah. So I'm just, I, nobody had mentioned that, so that's why I wasn't sure if the fire, police, scouts, up the veterans, I didn't know who was doing that. So I was like, I wonder who's doing that. That's a good point. Uh, if you'll talk to him and I'll, I'll okay. uh, drop Jamie. I'll, I'll okay, yep. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so John, we have this on the computer. Okay. Sue and I will do the edit for this if you want. No, let's let the secretary do it. Okay. <laughs> that, entails, right. that entails. So we'll oh, the heat is on. Okay, got it.
Then we can review it so maybe uh, huh? no, not today. Our notes will be taken. We can. Uh, if you missed everything, I've been writing. That'd be helpful. I've been yeah. writing. That'd be helpful. Early in the morning. Yeah. 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 And I used to do it. All right, Skip. Do you have, have anything to report about up. anything? Or no, I got the chair. So when it was that half. The chair. How about the chair? Just follow with that. Yes. Okay. I think that we need to advertise that people should bring their own chairs. And um, a lot of people along the parade line will do that because uh, I'll get there 1030 and it's going to be uh, an hour and a half. So, uh, But I think we need to get that word out because I don't want to have people come looking for a chair and there is no chair. Okay. So, Is there a flyer still that we're working on? Is it Laura? Is Laura the one doing the flyer? That's a, that's a very good question. I'm not sure. At what point would you be publishing? I can publish at any time, and I can publish it, put it out multiple times. So I would think that the sooner the better, because well, I mean, you're looking at what... I think should create an event and put all the I think I did. All, but you need to do a co-host and do... The co-host will be like the police department, covers in celebration, the Vietnam uh, Memorial Day... You know, like all the different pages that are in town, the fire department, because then the mass of people are more likely to see it if you make us all co-hosts, because then it spreads. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? If the oh, town okay. makes yeah, it, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. creates an yeah. event, I see what you're and then makes us all co-hosts, yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, then, yeah. then it, goes then out it will spread a lot faster, yeah. further. So what do we currently have? It's just on the event calendar, but we can just create an event and have it out, but we don't actually have a flyer. So a flyer, if I can sorry. take the flyer or whatever information I can get about it when it's going to start, which I should be able to pull off of these, and I should be able to put something together, and if I have any questions, I'll call you. I That's know how perfect. to find you. Yeah, and then, the, on that too. And yeah. then definitely, because that would be perfect. Yeah. You know. I have yeah. that over yeah, at the that. office. If yeah. people bring their own chairs, does somebody have to tell them where they can put them? Yeah, they're going to be putting yeah. them where they're going to be sitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you put your rear end in the yeah. chair. So, yeah. But <laughs> I believe at now, at now we have about how many chairs do you think we'll get from the church? Uh, I'll, I'll get a hold of her uh, okay. and let her know that we... And, but it's, it's not very many. I mean, they have a they have a big rack of new chairs, but they will not. What about the Hubbardson Rod and Gun Club? I tried. Yeah. Okay. I uh -huh. didn't want to get no. into mm -hmm. school. Just had uh, too many issues in the past, and I I know John Federico was a nice guy. Yeah. But he, yeah. he said, "Sorry, can't do it. You know, I would for you build, but I can't do it." I said, "Okay, no is no." That's a good point. So yes. Lions Club. Yeah, Are they going to be giving us some chairs? All the chairs that we use yeah, in town. We don't have you don't have chairs? Right. I got the impression that Blanchard. What do you do when you have the, what, what do you do when you have the chicken barbecue? There's chairs up there. Where do you get them from? Well, we get them from, we get, you can use their chairs, but they won't let you take them out of there. Mm -hmm. Well, like they said, what about Quabbin? What about Quabbin, school? like They're for all racks. our town meeting chairs, are on racks. They're on, we could wheel them over. Oh, no, the school, yeah. they're not. Yeah, they, the From where? The school. The school. How do we uh, work that logistic out? Who do we need uh, to talk to? Peterson? Maybe. Yeah, because yeah, Claire's gone, right? She was a facilities person. I, I don't know. I yeah. just call the school and talk to Joe. I would yeah. call the school. <laughs> Either that or Janice, one of the two. Do you know them? I I know Janice and Julia. Okay. So, so we call them? please. Yeah. Yeah. If, if we can get their chairs, and we can always find someone to get them over there and take them back. I think we should have 100 chairs up on the common for, and we'll designate that. I was going to say, you need veterans. reserved veterans, yeah. 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 And, and we so need 25 for the singers. We need, uh, we need 25 for the singers? 25 for the singers. Okay. We need... Um, we only need 24 because I'm not singing. Ah, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> 23 because I won't be singing. Okay. Um, um, in the golden ages, we're going to need, I don't know, maybe 15. Okay. So, say 20. so maybe 15, 20, and then we four. get five yeah. vets chairs to be up in the front. You need five vets. We've got, say, six speakers. It depends on if the girl. So I'm seeing 11, 15, 17, maybe 18 up here. And for uh, the by the podium area, 18. Yeah, but you're going to take um, Brewer off, so you have 17. Okay. But you get five of the vets, podium. and I don't know how many speakers we're going to have. We have just six. That would be 11. 
And then you got um, the selectmen are going to be up there. So you get. Are we going to uh, have the selectmen up by the podium? I was thinking, are we or not? What would you, I don't know. Well, Laurie, I. Well, they usually are. Katie's going to be with uh, 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 the selectmen. Uh, Scouts. Scouts. Normally, yeah. are sitting off to the side. Again, Katie, I said Laurie. Yeah. So we think, uh, They're going to be with the Girl Scouts. So we have a designated area for selectmen. Well, yeah, we should have. There should be leaders that are there. Yeah, we should have I don't, them there. You tell me where you want me to go. At the top. Do you really want to know? <laughs> I know. Okay. Whatever, I can take it. <laughs> that's the worst thing that's been said to me today. Right. You know? exactly, yeah. Yeah. So we have yeah, to uh, add that to our. Fire back, so yeah, true. Gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? Like 150 chairs. I think you're right. Yeah. So you're going to do the selectmen kind of by themselves? Um, they no, I wouldn't be. I, three chairs. Oh, you're going to put them in with the speakers. But I got them in the back because I got the no. vets in the front, the five vets in the front that are going to put the coffees on. Then you've got the kids that are speaking behind the vets. And then behind that, because the selectmen are not speaking, I put the selectmen, but if okay, they yeah, need to have... Yeah, put them behind. That's fine. <laughs> I didn't know. And yeah. that's all up in the podium area. That's up in the podium they, area. Get Matt, Matt, just tell him I okay. said. Up there. Yeah. And then Joyce Green, I put her behind I mean, that. They, she we, needs never had her. Uh -huh. we never had them in any particular space. I mean, they. we we had some chairs off to the left of the podium where, where wives and, you know, my wife and family would sit over there and then we had, you know, and the speakers would sit over, sit over there. Well, the golden age is where the golden ages are. We can make that bigger so if the families want to sit over there because the families are not going to sit with the veterans. Right? Well, they no. can. Well, I guess they can. But well, we're going to have a meeting with you. Actually, I'm thinking don't put a chair for me because I'm going to be roaming around doing live videos and stuff. Yeah. Who am I kidding? Okay, so then sit we'll, sit have, and I don't, we'll have um, <laughs> just three. Jeff, I don't ever remember Brooks, having sat down. Speaker. Mm -hmm. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going But I think... Veterans and their families like to sit together, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yes, I think that, you know, you especially an older here? veteran mm -hmm. who is uh, significant yeah. others and his kids, I'd like to have them. And maybe if they, if you start running out of chairs, then some of the younger ones can get up and stand behind. Which is what I was going to say. Yeah. That usually younger veterans will stand up and give the older veterans a chair. Okay. okay. So we're so. talking. Yeah. And but we're talking about if the families, like say, Raj is going to do that. So there's Raj. Yeah. Okay, my daughter wants to sit with him. Okay, her kids want to sit with him. And all of a sudden, before you know it, you got a family reunion sitting with the veterans. Do we have enough chairs? I don't mind. I think it's a great thing. I but think if that happens in the young youngins, and they they'd yeah. give up the chairs and stand it back. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I think but if we'll the say sign of veterans, and then somebody sitting there, they'll know. Just because we're veterans, they'll know. Hey, this is really for a veteran. Yeah, and this I think if we put set, um, so. if we have one sign out in front, veterans, yeah, veterans and families. You know, I'll, I'll get the sign, veterans and families. That's the one area because we're going to be okay. uh, telling the other groups as they come up, like the Golden Ages and um, the Scouts and all the where they're going to be going. Right. But uh, that veteran group is going to fill up from the floats and the walkers, mm -hmm. and then people who aren't either, but just come. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I've got a family coming up from Florida now whose yeah. whose dad well, is on the memorial. You're going to have a lot of up veterans in, uh, in the marching group, and some yeah. of them in the band, and some. Well, of my them. husband, myself, and my son are marching as veterans, so it leaves my daughter-in-law out, so she'll mm -hmm. come join us. Come and the join you, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For seating. Yeah, so See, these are the little details that we need to work on yeah. and talk about because, I don't know, me, I'd say, okay, that's just for veterans, but we needed to talk about yeah. that so that we know we're all on the same page. Going back, I'm hopping on the chairs. How do we get the chairs from point A to point B? They're on rolling racks. And who pushes them? But I don't them? think you can roll them across the street if there's no. a thing. And then up on the grass? Don't know. They, they won't go Maybe very well the Maybe they can come out the front of the building. You get them up to the tar. You can get them up there. Yeah, to yeah. across, like, to the street. Right. And cross the street. Who can so we count we on for that help? I mean, DPW could do that, couldn't they? Yeah. They're, they're not, not on. They're not working. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew and John? <laughs> no, I'm just saying they got <laughs> trucks. <laughs> um, well, yeah, but they have. They don't work Fridays, Saturdays, mm -hmm. or Sundays, so you'd have to get them to move it on 
Thursday. Yeah, that's, you don't want to leave chairs out that long. No. Mm -hmm. we'll be. Did we want to try to see if, we, if it was going to be nice weather? Were we going to try to set it up on a Friday, on a Sunday night? I mean, we're thinking of that. If somebody wants that many chairs, they just deserve to take them, I guess. That, that bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I've I seen parades where they line them up on the, the streets and they leave them, you know, and they're there busy. the next day. So I don't think somebody's going to steal a hundred chairs from them. But the day before is a Sunday. Yeah, we can have so the how do we do that? Kind of keep an eye on that? Well, that's everybody doing on Sunday. Keep an eye on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a camera. Um, Post the overnight guy. Well, nobody has <laughs> yeah. 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 You watch these chairs. He could sit. You're welcome to sit with the chair. But anyways, that's a thought. We can talk about the meeting if you want to set up the meeting. They told me they were going to put that. Put the yeah, thing. The put it up there for a week and a half early with a cover on it. I said, well, I've done it before, I guess. I do. Yeah, I'll just Didn't be up there every night with, <laughs> with <laughs> weapons. Yeah. <laughs> we left all, and they actually yeah, post they, a guard. They let us borrow the chairs for town meeting, and we left them up at the rec field overnight. See if we get a hundred chairs yeah, from uh, the school. No, the 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 well, if we're going to get some from the church, no, maybe one twenty-five. Anyway, they should yeah. be wiped down. Right. Somebody should go up there with a towel and yeah. wipe them down. I've had to do it for fairs Here's and that, stuff like that. Katie. Right. Uh, There's if chairs you, up the rec field, too. The, yeah, if, if you leave the chairs out. Bad. We put them up the night before, they're going to get dew on them. Yeah, yeah so I just, yeah, yeah, I've always like wipe them gone, down. yeah, just somebody with a couple beach towels, towels will just wipe them right real quick yeah. just to get the dew. And then they'll, they'll By 11 o'clock, though, if it's a nice day, cross our fingers, they'll be dry. In theory. If, if they get wiped down. What if it rains? They won't be there until 11, 30, quarter, 12. We do it regardless, right? Yes. Yeah, we're going to get pop -ups. It's rain or shine. Yeah. It rains. Rain or shine. They don't stop. Walls when it rains. No. Too important of an event to they go don't. inside this year. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got, we've gone inside in past years, but this year is a big deal. Yeah. We're going to the monument. Gonna, it's rain or shine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just mm -hmm. put that down, too. And we'll look yeah, to I do have a. I do pop have a. And bring chairs. Bring yeah, I got that. BYOC. And we got a couple pop ups bring your own here. We <laughs> got the great big tent that we could put the veterans underneath it. Do we want to yep. set that up anyways or no? Feel Wait like to you, see what the weather's going to yeah, be like. I feel like if you put that up, you're going to be blocking yeah. the view, view of anybody else that's outside of that. Yeah. It's so going to take up. A, it's going to take up all that real estate. You can't have anything behind it. <laughs> people won't be able to see. Bring umbrellas if it rains. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can put some. We have it like we have one of those easy up yeah. pop up things. And we, we do can, too. So if it looks like it's going to rain, we can always. Set up a couple just to keep our but maker, everybody our else is just bringing so umbrella. We don't <laughs> solve the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just get wet. All right. Do we have and angry. <laughs> any other news? Any other any other issues that we want to talk about at this time? Anything we want to, that we can think about that we need to pay attention to or skip? Yeah. I, I'd like to talk about the uh, loads. We're gonna for the veterans. We're going to decorate them on Sunday. If the weather is good, I'd like to decorate them on Sunday. Yeah. Now, those scoops that you have, is that material or is that paper? It's material. Good. It, the, all right, we're going to have the flags on them, and we're going to go up alongside the driveway there. We're going to, okay, so what we're going to do we'll on Sunday, mm -hmm. on Sunday, we can decorate them in the back if we want. Yeah. I'm thinking, though, we'll come down here and we're going to face them this way so that when you come out for the parade, we're just going to come up and around and go up to the rec field. Uh, That's what I was thinking. And this, at some point, I mean, we can do it later on. If you want to decorate the floats right in the front here, and then in the morning we can drive them around and go up to the field because the veterans are going to meet here, especially the veterans that need to ride. They're going to meet here. Yeah. I'm hoping they're going to meet yeah. here so we can put them on the <laughs> float here and we'll drive them up. So that's that's what I'm. I'm where, does that sound like a good idea or no? Where is the uh, the uh, food trailer going to be? Yeah. It, I think it's going to be up there in those four spots, right? No, no, they're not. Oh. No. <laughs> the yeah, food trailer is going to be down closer to us, and I already talked to Flo, and they can bring their from their cello, they bring their cord out. Them. So it's going to be closer to us, not so much, so that we kind of keep the food, the tables, 
and I all kind of in mm -hmm. the same area. Okay. So so they'll be closer to. I, I just want to be able to tell the Lions where. I already met with um, Tom. Okay, great. Met with Tom Lyons. We showed him where he was right. going to park, and great. so and he was okay with that. He thought that would be a good idea. Great. So that's all set. What's your question? So that's pretty much. We're pretty much going to load the veterans here and then drive them up. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's my thought. We need one more trailer for the Golden Ages, if we can find a trailer. I'm working on that. And my son-in-law has a truck. All right. We need a truck. I was say, uh, when, truck. We drive, when we drive the veterans up and we come in to line up for the parade, like you're saying, um, how are we going to make sure we position ourselves in the proper because we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to um, put our Vietnam float first, and then the other two floats are the veterans. And what's gonna happen is your walkers are gonna walk behind it. Yeah, like your Vietnam what, walkers are gonna walk behind it. I say when we come up around, we're gonna have people there already, right? Right. How do we position ourselves in that yeah, line? I'm gonna give uh, enough space if, if the trailer needs uh, 40 feet. I'm gonna leave a 60 foot space. So let's say there are already cars lined up, because there yep. will be. Yep. So you guys would go up beyond. I'd recommend you kind of turn around in Go Green's parking lot, then come back in and make the, you'll be entering on this end right. and coming in this way. OK, so when we come in, you're going to have that space ready for you us betcha. to come in. And there'll be nobody you betcha. there. Okay. Right, it's going to be designated. Okay. And we'll be directing you to that space. All right. And then so your concern on the other end was getting up the driveway. Claudia and I went up on Sunday, and we looked at all the trees, and uh, we, A, feel there's enough room for the floats. B, you're going to get in touch with the highway department, and they're going to be cutting down the extra branches. Yes. I am. I'm, I hope they're going to do it. Either that or we have to have somebody jump out and pull those flags out of the way. Oh, I, we're yeah. okay for the, yeah, I think we'll be all set for that. Yeah. It's just some broken trees that need to, we need to come down anyway. Let's see if we can get them to take And them it was off. still about an 11 foot clearance, Skip. There would be an 11 foot Yeah, clearance. 11 foot. The lowest branch, if they did nothing, the lowest branch is like 11 feet. And um, so I believe that based on, well, it depends, the floats are different. Well, levels, you know, with the flag, hopefully that would be okay. But if we uh, just uh, an hour of highway department going up there and cleaning out, yeah. well, like Claudia said, most of the branches are dead already. So you could get a so trail I truck thought up there. You'd be able to get a trail truck up there. Okay, we're set. And uh, yeah, we've so. asked. Oh, you get a trail truck? Yeah. If we, you no, know, if we can get a trail truck up there. Yeah. Then we we're good. How many yeah, veterans so. do you think are going to park down here? Because that's going to limit your space. Be picked up here. Yeah, if they're going to be picked up here, they're going to be packed in here. We I may, think a lot of people are going to drop them off. Yes. No. Oh, okay. The family then designated to go up. Where, oh, okay. do, where do we park? Where do we all park? Well, you're going to be arriving at 9:30 up at the rec field. Yeah. You're going to park at Go Green. Okay. And um, there's going to be two designated spots at Go Green. One is going to be: Are you staying for both uh, parade and the services? Is where you're going to park. Are you staying just for the parade? Here's where you're going to park. So that that makes it a little bit easier if someone's trying to get out. So you can also park them at the school because they can cut through right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, those, you know, our helpers will be mm -hmm. up at yeah. the rec yeah, yeah. And, and then all of the businesses tracking. along the way have been notified. We said, I said to them, if you have a problem with a parking, it's a Monday, it's a holiday, they're not working. So all the individual businesses I've contacted and uh, I didn't talk to, I talked to one, but the others I looked messages. If you have a problem with that, get back to me. Nobody has. So I believe that, you know, if people arrive early, uh, they'll be able to park before they get to go green. Uh, if not, they'll be parking up at go green, but one's early, you're doing school in the back. So, um, you know, come early, you get a spot. Come later, you got to walk. So. so I thought since Raj was with us when we were up the field that maybe he would be the first float. first float and then everybody else could follow him because we're gonna go up by the church. You're gonna we're gonna drive up by the church, come around and face the truck out where the where you're driving through here, 
You're going to come up and you're going to come around and face the truck out. The trailer will be on the back, you know, so they can look at the field if they don't choose to get, you know, the golden age to say. So each one will come around and park next to, next to each other, like that. Total of five? Totally floats. five floats. The last one might be facing the other way around. So that parking lot up in the church is going to be clear. It will be. Only floats. Um, a few uh, people like the helpers will be up there, plus the handicapped. I mean, you've got to spin that trailer around. Yeah, we uh, figured that uh, that's where, hopefully, we're going to have the four of us up there. Someone will be designated. When the first one comes around, we park them as far down as possible. Second one, after that, they're going to know where to park. So you can fit the five trailers. Maybe the fifth trailer ends up in front of the church we talked about. Is that going to go good with the people that are on the other side of the drive? Bill Homans uh, is going to be contacted, ask him to move his uh, trailer out before that time. Oh, yeah. 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 Who's he'll doing do that? He has to do yeah, that. Yeah, he'll do that. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have anything else we think we want to talk about? No, the um, next time. week on the 17th at 12 noon is when the uh, memorial will be delivered. Um, it's a big event, and uh, it, it's probably a couple of hours where they'll be working on it. Uh, and I'm going to ask anybody who has a camera either not to take pictures or not to take pictures of the monument itself or take pictures of the monument if you need to, but don't put them on media until after the 30th because we still want to make it special. So we'll be up there, uh, part of that. So after a couple of hours, when that transpires, whoosh, the shroud goes on it, and then we're all set. But um, Take all the ones you want after that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You can take all the ones. It's cover for my Corvette. I hope it fits over the memorial OK. <laughs> and uh, we're going to strap it down So, and then hope that it uh, um, doesn't blow off in between, but it won't. We'll, what did you decide to do with the flag for the Vietnam Vietnam uh, flag, um, one is going to be put on the front after we put the shroud on it. Okay. Um, Ed's got some uh, Velcro. Two-way Velcro. Yeah. So we may have one on the front and one on the back. Oh, so, you're getting another one on it? Yeah, we have another one. Oh, you Actually, uh, oh, good. if you have the opportunity, uh, uh, we've now posted uh, two teasers on um, local access cable, and uh, we'll have a third one up next week. So if you have a chance to look at those, it's, they're teasers. They're meant specifically to generate activity. And then the banner is now up on the common. It's pretty um, obvious, four foot by 10 foot. That's the one that acknowledges uh, the donors. And then we're going to have the collage of all the Hubbardson Vietnam era veterans who submitted photos to me. There were 24. And then I have actually 25 and two headstones. And I've secured permission from the families to put the headstone on the collage. I was thinking that was going to be, you know, photos and I'd have a couple of frames. And then I said, why not make a banner? So we now have uh, a three foot by eight foot banner being made by Staples. And I figure that by next Tuesday, I'll have that up on the common too, all of which is designated to generate interest. So things are happening, something new is showing up, colorful, you know, people hopefully will see it, combined with the uh, information we're, we're posting. Um, GAW has been every day um, making an announcement, uh, and we've done a couple of interviews with them. So if you don't know what's happening by now or by then, then you're under a rock, so to speak. No. So, um, the next meeting, okay, first of all, let's, the subcommittees, we should meet with John, oh, Bill, us, and so, so, so it's key so, because she's been uh -huh. and, and then we can review it so that by the time the meeting comes along, we're done, you know, we're right. done. Okay. So, okay. as soon as, I would say, as soon as that gets done, yeah. get Call. in touch and we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get together that before the next meeting. And this then the is, other subcommittee John, is Sue, with um, and Bill, uh, and Rich and Joe. Yeah. Hopefully Joe's getting better. And by that time, I'll have that Joe. schematic all done. I'm going to give you this size. 
if you want, I can do it smaller. But you know, this is what you're going to have to go as your map. Then you go up there and walk through. Yeah, exactly. We'll walk it. I mean, I looked foolish. I was walking it, trying to measure it off. Uh, but San Sanda said that the parking lot was approximately 400 feet, and when I walked it off. It's about 425 feet. So she was. She didn't know for sure, uh, but. I, I, I was really happy to know we could fit two rows. It's going to be a little tight, you know, but people are going to be moving slowly, and of course as the contingents line up, the ones that come last are going to have a little more. Well, the only more. thing I was thinking when he was mentioning the trailers pulling in there, hopefully they don't have to parallel park back in, but they can just all just pull in. Yeah, see, they're going to go up beyond, yeah. turn around and go green, then come back, and they'll be able to come in that upper entrance. We're going to have them all in order. Yeah, and then yeah. hopefully we're going to have four people. You know, you see one coming, you go up and Tell approach them, them and say, okay, you're number 24, here's where you're going to go, follow me. And you kind of walk them down. Or if they're too up. early, you got to make them wait out on the road. No, nope, no, nope. if they get there at 9.30, why not? They can, okay. yeah, that's good. The earlier the better. You know, that, and then we're going to have kind of a sense of um, how many motorcycles do we have, how many classic cars do we have, and, uh, you know, because it's still a lot of not definites because it's a busy day and many, many towns are having activities. So. What time is the arrival for group two set for baseball and soccer? 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do we still just need um, six traffic vests or do you think we need more? I well, think we need more because we should have something that they can see us. So I have, uh, so I bought 10 of them today. I just went on Amazon. They were like twenty dollars. So and what I just color bought. are they? They get the high vis lime green. Oh, good. Cert should have some too, though. Yeah, but so I just bought them. I'll just I'll bring them. Whoever needs them can grab one. That yeah, should be plenty. Yeah, because we need uh, six. We need six for up there. Up, yeah, 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 and four for down here. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so this this ten. Two people. Who the other two? People? We haven't. Uh, the lions are going to come up with names. Okay. Because I told them we needed six. Um, and Ed and, and you were going to be at the meeting tonight, right? Uh, I won't, but Ed will. Ed, Ed definitely, and he's going to get the names and get their phone numbers, and then that will be on this piece of paper, and that will be on our piece of paper here, in case we need to make calls while we're there. But if we have four on the common, do you think that's enough? We'll still have that. You and I and two more. Yeah, you come. Okay. I, I think so. I think so, yeah. We'll grab some of Yeah, then yeah. what's going to happen is the contingent's going to come, and we'll be uh, parking somebody, getting them in line, then someone else will come down, one of the volunteers, and start them. You know, and they may be a little slow up at the end, but I don't see it you massive. You think ought to have that, what you have for the drivers of the floats here, like four extra, so you sure. don't want to mm -hmm. skip in the drivers. Yeah. They can mm -hmm. have at least yeah. an idea. That'd be great. Yeah, can you, so, can you, do you have something to reproduce this? I mm -hmm. do. Oh, you do, okay. All right. Like large, yeah. yeah. I thought I'd make it bigger so people could see it. Uh, um, so the subcommittees, you're all going to get in touch with everybody. I'll get in touch with you. You're going to get in touch. Oh, we're all going to get in touch with that, like the lineup thing. You're going to want to go over that one more time. Are you, are in you other guys? words, are you asking if we should have another meeting? Is well, I don't think goal? we need to have a meeting next week, do we? I just thought we should have one the, just before Memorial Day. That would be the 25th? The 25th. That's fine. So the 25th. Do we need another meeting <laughs> next Unless week? Unless you want to review all your stuff in the brochure. Well, we're going to have a subcommittee. We're going to oh, do okay, that, good, right? Good. And we should have it all squared away, and then we can have it. So a subcommittee meeting next Wednesday? No, it would be a subcommittee meeting would be as designated. In other words, you get that brochure finished, we get together when right. there's convenient. Do we, have to, do we have to file it with Lori, or can we just no. do it? Yeah, you're yeah. Not and even then when you get that committee. done, we'll meet up there. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll be in so touch we'll with you and Joe. And then... Um, if, we, if I know the names of the people who are going to volunteer from the Lions, I'll invite them. You know, and, uh, but it's not going to be rocket science when they get there that day and we hand it out to them and they kind of know the narrative. I think that uh, they would not need any more direction than that. And it'll kind of begin to flow as they show up. Not everybody's going to show up at the same time, so I, I think four people with... Uh, Joe being the key person, and uh, the other three helpers will be fine. So we're going to do that at one, one again. On no, eleven. Uh, eleven. Or eleven. Eleven on the twenty-fifth. Eleven on the twenty-fifth. Yeah. 
So just give me the agenda and I'll post it when you're ready. Okay, I'll bring that right over, you know, between you. I'll do that right away. Otherwise, I forget. I think we had a great meeting. So yeah. we have nothing yeah. else to discuss. Have Everybody's a great good. Idea. I'm sitting here. We have a special events coordinator next year. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no! I swore off parades after the 250th. I was like, "Oh, that's it for me. I'm good." Katie, from a standpoint of the way this is shaping up, what do you think? I think it's going to be lovely. I think you guys all did a very good job. Um, I've actually said, uh, spoke about it the last couple times at the select board meetings about how. My butt goes numb in this chair sitting here for these lengthy meetings, but I think they have it under very well coordinated, and you all are working together super well, and you're very informative, and you have it together, and it's going to be a lovely ceremony. Aww. And I'm encouraging people to come. Yeah. I'm trying, okay. but my butt is numb again. <laughs> so you did a good job. <laughs> all right, so in the next meeting, we should invite anybody who wants to go. I probably send out a, a blast to Sandra Barry. I mean, anybody who might have any last minute things they want to touch with or talk to us about or whatever. I don't know about the fire department. We've got to let the fire department know that there is no sirens. We want no sirens. We want it quiet. It's tough. They like to set, they like to set those off. Do you want to tell them? I'll pass the information along. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Just wondering. Because it's solemn. Oh, OK. It's not I just know why. It's yeah. not, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I hate that when I see Happy Memorial Day. What the hell is that? It's yeah. a somber day. It's a somber it's a, day. So white, no I saw that in Did Joe's notes, in? and I went by a lot of stuff that Joe yeah, had. That now it's a gun because he did so many parades. Mm -hmm. yeah that I kind of honored what he, a lot of the I things that he did, right. I thought was yeah. Yeah. Do you want to uh, kind of put that on so. the lineup if we're going to be giving everybody a copy of the lineup? Okay. Yeah. 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 No yeah. sirens, remember, please. Yeah. Remember, this is a, a yeah. solemn day. Mm -hmm. Well, I had, a, I had a request that we not have any military vehicles because it's going to be scary. Okay. Ah. Oh. Well, that person can stay away. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, stay home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise, Tom. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people will be interested. Well, oh, it'll be a lot of them, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, yours. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.